This is our new steel track concept. Okay. So as you can see, um, the big thing that we like to, you know, that we're gonna claim about it is that there's no welds. So that's that's you know we kind of want to make that a big selling point for parks um, okay. because welds create issues for maintenance. Um, it's all riveted, so there are roundhead rivets and flathead rivets. Um, it's so the main beam is four sides. The outside and the inside face are slanted, so the cross section is a trapezoidal shape. You can tell if you look at it from the end. And the guide steel and the upstop steel are attached via a bracket, so it also facilitates replacement in case guide upstop steel needs replaced. Um, otherwise, so it's the the goal is to offer this as a system for an entire ride, as well as potentially using it in conjunction with the typical wooden track stack. So maybe it would transition into this for certain elements. Um, it's still in its early stages. So we're still doing more tests on pieces, trying to come up with pricing, things like that. But we're very happy with how you know our our process is what going. Is, what is the name of this track? What are you going to call it? Do I know? don't know. We, we honestly haven't gotten that far yet. OK, OK. So, no, no name yet. <laughs> I, I don't know. I'd have to talk to Claire about So that. possible inversions? Yes. That's the goal. Now, the frame would still be wood? The it frame could of the vary. Coaster? Okay. Um, yeah, so all of that's kind of up in the air. It Again, it depends on the client as well. Okay. Um, we, we're seeing, obviously, a shift. A lot of clients like to go with the majority of the structure being steel just for maintenance. But on our, you know, since we still have the wooden track stack, even the steel coasters have some... The upper structure, the, there's a little bit of wood post just to help with the kind of dampening absorption of forces and things like that. But so it's so it's still it's experimental still, phase right now. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, definitely. But it it could be galvanized. It could be painted. Uh, right now, you, what you see is actually just a primer coat. So that's right. not like you know what it would look like if it was, if it was painted for a park. But who 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 would manufacture the track for you at this point? We did some of it in house. So okay. we have a plasma table. Um, the pieces you see here aren't the pieces from our plasma table. Uh, we're assembling that, just it's still in our shop, um, to make this test piece. Uh, we actually had someone cut these out on a laser. Um, you do need pretty a pretty tight tolerance for rivets. Um, we're really happy with how they came out. The goal is to, to fab it in-house and we're working on oh, okay. setting up ways to do that. Okay, already designed a train to run on it? Or working yeah, on that so, still too? so the train, so right now, we, how we have, so the ties, the track ties that you see, the angle, those are kind of just makeshift ties. Um, but we have it set up at the same track gauge as our current Millennium Flyers. And oh, okay. the Infinity Flyers, our new Class 5 train, that has the same gauge. Gotcha. So, so they can it, fit too? Right. Awesome. Yep. Yeah, it's designed to fit, to fit everything. Gonna be cool. We're excited about it. I can see a lot of possibility and a lot of potential with this. Yeah, thank you. Yeah, no welds. That that's, a, that's what's amazing. That was a big thing that we were trying to yeah. you know, accomplish. Okay. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you so much.